we have some volume, please? Could we turn up the volume? Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Play vs Film Reviews. Today, I'm talking about Ghost Stories by Jeremy Dyson and Andy Nyman. And to quote the last line of the play, the announcement as the lights come up, ladies and gentlemen, please keep the secrets of ghost stories. Thank you and sleep well. So I will be doing no spoilers in this video. This is simply just the general differences and a comparison between the play and the film version. I absolutely loved this show when I went to see it at the Lyric Hammersmith, I want to say about two years ago now. I went to see this because it had my favourite theatre actor in it, Simon Lipkin, as Professor Goodman. I'm so glad I did because he was absolutely perfect for that role. He did it so well. This one I went to go see by myself, which I'm usually fine with, but I didn't think this through. So I had to make friends with the people next to me. Luckily, there were two lovely girls there and a lovely girl there with her mum. So we were having a lovely time all together. <laughs> We did have the absolute panic because the whole row behind us was empty until about three minutes before curtain up and I was not going to sit there with an empty row, not having any actors jumping up behind me because <laughs> I'll either hit them or I'll cry. Luckily, the row filled up in the next two minutes. <laughs> this was unlike any other theatre experience that I've had because it was so like communal. Everyone was in it together. And like, I went to see Woman in Black, but this was so different because this was scary, but so funny at the same time. I also loved that it. it just gave you time to recover between like the big scares. So straight after you'd have like a moment of silence or you'd have a blackout. So you could have a little giggle together and just kind of settle before it went straight back into something else. The play is so well written and the stage directions are so detailed. Like. Just on this page alone, half of it is stage directions in between like little sections of dialogue. From an acting point of view, I love that because I love either very detailed, tell me exactly what to do or tell me basically nothing and let me play with it. I've read this play so many times. I can't even count how many. It's such a joy because it just gives you the full story even just from reading it. I think it does help that I have seen the play and the film, so I can kind of imagine people as the characters. But even if you haven't, it's so vivid and it just gets your imagination working that you can just create this play in your mind. And onto the film adaptation, which I absolutely love, which is so very rare for me. <laughs> And I think that's because Jeremy and Andy adapted it for screen, they directed it, and Andy played Professor Goodman, who he played when they opened it at the Liverpool Playhouse in 2010. So they had so much creative control over it that they could keep the bits in that would work on screen and change the bits that wouldn't. Which meant that the film isn't exactly the same as the play, but they are two separate things with the same-ish story. In the film you get a bit more backstory to Professor Goodman's character and like his family and his early life. And also the opening is very different and I really like what they did to change it and make it more suitable for screen. It's Goodman investigating a psychic and he's making a documentary about it so he's talking straight to the camera and involving the audience. Whereas in the play it's a lecture so Goodman comes on the stage and he starts talking to the audience about the paranormal and like the lights come up and he starts interacting with people and it really gets you involved in it. So I really like how they changed that to still hook you in and just talk directly to you. The only thing is the documentary bit is only at the beginning and then the rest of it is just normal acting to each other rather than involving you. But in the play, every in-between section is Goodman talking to you. So that's the only thing that was really missing for me. I don't know, it worked, but that is like the biggest thing that just makes them separate entities entirely. They've added a character called Charles Cameron and in the story, you go through three cases that can't be explained logically. In the play, they're Goodman's cases and he's presenting them to you. But in the film, they're Cameron's cases 
and you're kind of following Goodman along and experiencing them for the first time with him, which I thought was interesting. I don't know whether I prefer that. I think I just prefer the lecture setting, Goodman presenting them, but I did find it very interesting what they did with that character, which I'm not gonna go into because it will spoil it. <laughs> I think they did a fantastic job bringing their play to the screen. I prefer the play, but I do really like the film too. If you watch the film, it will reveal a lot of the secrets, so they won't really be as much of a surprise in the theatre, but I really don't think it would ruin your experience of seeing it. I really recommend that you go and watch the film, read the play, if it's on anywhere near you, go and see it. It's such an experience and honestly, I came out of it like so scared, but I was laughing because I just had a fantastic time. So yeah, if you've seen any version of Ghost Stories or you've read the play, then let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching, give it a like if you liked it, subscribe if you want more of this, but as always, stay safe and look after yourselves. Bye.